Abbott and his Democrat challenger Beto O'Rourke squared off tonight in what is likely their one and only debate. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. It's nine o'clock. Neither had a standout moment, and they both kept doing their best, I guess, to stick to their talking points. Tonight's debate was held in the Rio Grande Valley with the backdrop of the border crisis. The topic featured prominently, along with a number of rapid-fire topics covered in just one hour. The format did not allow for a lot of room for breakout moments. Both men frequently interrupted by a bell. Fox Sports' Blake Hansen in now with a recap of tonight's debate. Blake. Yeah, Heather, with a little more than a month to go to Election Day, recent polling still gave Governor Abbott a seven-point lead, and that means Governor Abbott was in a comfortable position while Beto O'Rourke would be looking to create a moment to shift momentum. In their sole debate, Republican Governor Greg Abbott and Democratic former Congressman Beto O'Rourke took the stage in the Rio Grande Valley. The nearby border crisis, their first topic out of the gate, with O'Rourke criticizing the governor's Operation Lone Star. It's clearly failed. Um, the numbers are in. We're seeing not fewer but more engagements at our border. When the governor spent $4 billion of our tax dollars on what has turned out to be political theater for his political career. He promised us that it would deter people from coming to this country. We've only seen more people come. Now they get a bus ride to Chicago or Washington, D.C. or New York. We don't need any more stunts. We need solutions. Meanwhile, Governor Abbott defended his strategy of busing migrants to Democrat-run sanctuary cities. Because these cities of New York and Washington, D.C. and Chicago are so large and have the infrastructure that is available, they have the capability of accommodating the number of migrants that are being sent better than these other cities that you talked about. Uh, there will be other cities in the future that also will be on the receiving end of migrants. A recent Quinnipiac poll showed the border is the top issue for likely Texas voters, but also important abortion. The governor defended signing a bill banning abortion without exception for rape or incest. An alternative, obviously, uh, is uh, to uh, do what we can to assist and aid uh, the victim, uh, and that is to help get them medical assistance that they need. Uh, and the care that they need, but also uh, to know what their options are. They're going to uh, to know that uh, the, the state, uh, through al our alternatives to abortion program, provides living assistance, baby supplies, all kinds of things that can help them. Also, we've increased funding for prena prenatal okay. and postpartum care. O'Rourke would not directly answer questions about whether to set limits on abortions. That limit was decided in 1973 through a victory that Jane Roe and Linda Coffey and Sarah Weddington won before an all-male United States Supreme Court. I want us to return to that. It was the law of the land for nearly 50 years until we had Thank the most you, extreme abortion Mr. ban Robert. in the Robert. country. The mass shooting in Uvalde and gun control were also part of the discussion. The governor voiced opposition to raising the age to buy an assault rifle on legal grounds. Purely from a legal uh, position, based upon what that Court of Appeals decision ruled, and importantly, based upon what the Supreme Court decision said in a June opinion that changed the way that that Parkland case was determined. I know how the Parkland case was, was determined. Florida is going to have its law overturned because Thank of this you. new Supreme Court decision. Meanwhile, O'Rourke said he's more focused on common sense solutions than trying to take away people's assault rifles. It's clear to me that the only place that an AR-15 or an AK-47 makes sense is on a battlefield. But as governor of the state of Texas, I need to be focused on what we can get done. Debate night, of course, is just a small part of the equation. A lot of people are out from on Friday nights at maybe high school football games, likely to miss the live version of the debate. And so now we see how each campaign will use those clips going forward to Election Day. Heather.